Hi everybody. Well, I just have a few things that I need to do here and a lot of things that I need to catch up with. So after these few things, I'll have less to catch up with. So um, this video is going to be about <clears throat> Dances with Pitbulls 100 things. And I'm not sure if I already said I'm so happy to be here, but if I did, you'll excuse me. Okay, this is, these are these little envelopes that I talked about the other day. And I promise that I will not say the word wonky. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, this is, um, when I get them right, I need to make sure I'm in frame. When I get them right, what I want to do then, that one just needs to be cut off a little bit so that I can fold it. There we go, that's better. So I just need to um, stamp them when I'm done figuring out how to fold them. So I'm just going to put these over here and I have these cute tiny little stamps that someone gave me in Happy Mail and that's what I get for removing it from the Happy Mail because now I don't know who gave it to me. Okay, so um, where I like to stamp things like this little bitty things like this is right up in the corner like that that's not too bad right there is a little a little skimpy so I'm gonna try that one again Pretty cute, pretty cute. Just looking for my paper towel here. Maybe I'll just stamp it off on this page that I have. And then there's this one. This is just the cutest. Cute, cute, cute. These are really turning out nice. Thank you, my happy mail person. Thank you. I really appreciate it.
really, you know. That's called ghost stamping. It's stamping after you've already stamped, and then you get these little shadows. I like it. And the last one. <laughs> oh my goodness, look. Okay. Wow. Okay. I'm going to put those aside. Now I promised I was going to start writing these down in my little notebook. And I am. I'm going to do that. Just not right now. Because I have to count them. Okay, so... There's the envelopes. Here's these little cutie pie stamps. So I just need to I need to put the the plastic plate over that. And that keeps it from drying out. So these little stamps are called, let's see if I can, where is it? It's right here. Five cling mounted rubber stamps. So they're cling mounted because on this little piece right here, they cling. And then when you put them on your this thing, they clean. And then you can take them off and clean them off and be done. So that's what I just did and I'm loving it and I'm loving how those little envelopes um, look now. So I'm just going to put those right here and this over here and that goes with it. And now I'm on to this. This is using my scraps up. It's my glue book, which I named Tuffy Fluffy or Fluffy Tuffy, whichever you like. And I'm gonna wanna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Put some stuff in here. Boy, isn't that nice. Then here's this giant piece of duct tape that is so pretty. And it was it was keeping a an envelope together that ah, shoe fly. That brought very special things to me. 
in this envelope. I don't know. I think that tomorrow is Star Wars Day. I think. At least at a certain school it is. Let's see how we're doing here. Doing good. And the pink and the swashy tape is not the prettiest with the other stuff. But these flowers do kind of look nice. So maybe I'll wait on this one. I know that you already guessed that my dryer is working, so let's see. Hmm. I like that. I like that. I mixed up some new, some new stuff here. I think I'm going to use up my Mod Podge. I don't have very much of it left, and I really want to use it.
So about a month ago, maybe three weeks, not sure, I turned off my TV and I have not turned it back on. I know that that sounds really strange. And it's very strange for me because ever since, literally ever since TV was invented, I have watched it. So I know, I know I have gone through withdrawal. It's a, it's a feeling of loss. For no good reason, I have this this urge to turn it on. You know, I have no idea what's on. I have I have no interest. I was finding it the most boring thing. Not to mention how upsetting it TV is was to me. Very upsetting. I don't know about this one. That might be okay right there. If there's some sort of news that somehow it gets around and I hear about it and I want to know more about it, I have the internet. I have short little, short little excerpts, uh, excerpts, however you say that, of news that comes onto my email.